Welcome to this week's grocery haul and meal plan. My name is Jennifer. If you're new here, I'm going to share with you guys what I picked up to feed my family of four this week. We did Walmart grocery pickup as well as I scooped by Aldi's a couple of days ago and we had a little snow scare that ended up being a huge fail but that's okay. Picked up a couple of things there so I have that small haul to share with you as well. If you're new here, Make sure you subscribe before you leave as I do grocery hauls. I share my meal plan and also we do a what's for dinner video here on this channel every single week. Make sure you hit all on the notification bell so YouTube will notify you every single time I upload a video here. All right, you guys, we're going to get on into it. I'm going to share my meal plan with you first. And what will I be feeding these fine people in my house this week? Well, it is right in front of you here. Today is Saturday. I swear I, that's when I always start out my grocery hauls. We're going to have sheet pan nachos. Sunday is going to be honey garlic instant pot chicken. That will be on an upcoming what's for dinner video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Monday, we're going to have a cheesy taco sticks. That was on my meal plan for last week, but we did not get to that. So it got scooted over to this week. Tuesday, we're going to do buffalo chicken grilled cheese. Wednesday, fish sticks and fries. Thursday is going to be every man for himself, so you find what you want to eat around here. And then Friday, we will eat out. All right, now I'm going to share with you guys what I picked up at Aldi's a couple of days ago. Hey, y'all, I've got a quick Aldi haul here to share with you guys. $70 and some change-ish. So, Harrison's all these really cute little books. They had other ones, too, but, um, you know, we're going through the little potty training situation right now. So, we saw this, and it makes little noises and stuff. It's really cute. So he's really excited about that. I got one loaf of white sandwich bread for sandwiches, obviously. And then I have been really craving salads lately. So I went ahead and got a garden salad mix here and some little mini cucumbers to throw together and make a salad. Also got these um, tricolor tortilla strips to throw on my salad. I wanted croutons, but by the time I thought about it, I was on the other side of the store and I didn't feel like going back and these were right there. So I just picked those up. So we got some more mandarin oranges here. The boys really love these and snack on them quite a bit. So we needed some more. I got one bag of big bacon potatoes here just for baked potatoes. Or if I'm in the mood, I may make um, some potato soup because we are expecting snow here. I know we ain't gonna get snowed in, but you know, it's exciting anyway. <laughs> I got one big old bag of white cheddar cheese popcorn here for snacks. And then I got this um, box of like juice pouches or whatever for Hayden's refrigerator in his room as a little reward for him. They have this chicken on sale. Um, it's $1.89 a pound and then there was a dollar off here and it's good until the 13th and today is the 7th. So it's a week. I'm going to freeze all of this because, you know. I like to keep some in the freezer. I found this Black Forest ham that was kind of marked down. So it looked pretty good and went ahead and got that for sandwiches. I got a can of olive oil cooking spray here because we were running low. I got three gallons of milk and went ahead and put two of them away. And so this is the, just the one. And you know, we can't go to Aldi's without getting milk. This was the last one of these on the shelf. We were running out of disinfectant wipes to clean our toilet. So needed to grab some more of those. I found this big old mama jama pack of hash brown patties. It's 20 hash brown patties in the thing here. And I'm going to throw these in our freezer downstairs just to have on hand for breakfast or whatever. Got a bottle of ranch dressing because we were kind of running low on that. Quit, Harry. I got two cans of diced tomatoes and two cans of sweet yellow corn. And then I went ahead and picked these up because I... You know, just walked by them and impulse by, saw them. So I said, well, let's go ahead and grab two cans of cinnamon rolls. And then last but not least, I went ahead and grabbed some of our favorite toilet paper. And of course, they were out of paper towels today. So anyway, but we got toilet paper. Alrighty, and here is my Walmart haul that we picked up this morning. 
First things first, I've got one loaf of nature's own white wheat bread for sandwiches. Um, vegetables, I've got one bunch of green onions here for a recipe for this week. I've got some broccoli for a side for this week or snacks. It's really not much of a side. I thought they would be bigger crowns, but oh well, that's all right. Avocado, that's going to go on the sheet pan nachos for tonight. And we do actually have some that are kind of ready to be cut. So that's good. I got one Roma tomato here because I love tomatoes and that's going to go on my nachos for me tonight. I've got two bags of cantina style tortilla chips here. One is going to be for tonight for the shoe pan nachos. And then one's going to be for um, Hayden's birthday that's coming up next weekend. And then also that's the same thing for the cheese balls. I'm um, hoping that I'm going to be able to stash these away for his party. We're having him a small birthday party next weekend. So I'm trying to start stashing up things for that. For the sheet pan nachos, I wanted some black olives. I'm the only one who eats it. So hence the small can. <laughs> I got some more of Frank's Red Hot Buffalo wing sauce for the buffalo chicken grilled cheese because I needed some more of that. We had some, but I wanted to make sure that we weren't going to run out because I've been throwing this on everything here lately. I put that on everything. <laughs> Got some cupcake liners. Um, I did order a birthday cake for Hayden, um, but I always like to have cupcakes just as kind of a backup. Um, I don't ever want to run out of cake. That's just like not cool. So um, with that being said, I've got one container of vanilla icing here. I'm going to try to dye orange to match the theme of his birthday, which is like dirt bikes, KTM dirt bikes. So, and then also I'm going to do a chocolate cake mix, but the app, I could not find milk chocolate. The only thing that they had on the app here was the chocolate fudge and I didn't want that. So I had to go in the store this morning and I was like, let me just look and see if I can find a milk chocolate. But guess what? I sure did and there it is. So I just went in and picked that up. Um, I'll just, I'll use that as for something else. Who knows? We've got some Hershey Simply Five for our chocolate milk that we always need. And then I went ahead and picked up a box of these fiber brownies, um, just kind of as a trick for the boys for something sweet. I figured that would be helpful for them. And then I went ahead and got one box of the Cocoa Pebbles. They were out of the like bagged version for this week. So I just went ahead and got this box. That was the best thing they had. And Jeff didn't want the fake Cocoa Pebbles. <laughs> I needed some Munster cheese for the buffalo chicken grilled cheese sandwiches. These were unavailable on my order this week. So while I was in the store, <laughs> I went in before I picked the groceries up. Um, I was kind of peeking in to see what was unavailable. This was unavailable. I walked over there and guess what? They have Sargento, but they did not substitute it. <laughs> anyway, that's okay. And then we also needed some just regular sandwich sliced cheese for sandwiches. I always like to make sure I keep bacon on hand. I think I have two packs in my refrigerator now, but we're going to be using bacon this week as, you know, breakfast or I think one of our dinners I needed bacon. So went ahead and got another thing of that. Got some cream cheese. It's going to go in one of the recipes for this week. Got some more sour cream. Um, we're running low on that in the refrigerator. I got one pound of lean ground beef for a recipe for this week. And then you all know my little story from last week. If you didn't, check out last week's grocery haul. We got some Danimal smoothies that were out of date by like a week. <laughs> they still smelled okay, so we went ahead and, you know, as the boys opened them, I looked at them to make sure they weren't molded and didn't smell bad, but they were okay, I guess. But anyway, these have a good date on them. We got Soren Strawberry and Brave Berry here. As far as drinks go, like I said, um, we are having Hayden's birthday party next weekend. I wanted to go ahead and stockpile some drinks to make sure that, you know, it didn't really all hit me at all at one, one week, one grocery haul. So I've got two bottles of Twist Up here. I've got two bottles of regular Pepsi. I've got one bottle of Diet Sun Drop and one bottle of Diet Pepsi back there. And then I've got two regular Sun Drops here. And then I went ahead and picked up two packs of the, the mini cans of Twist Up. And then I got two cases of Diet Pepsi back here. As far as frozen, this is the only thing that I got this week, which was the mini corn dogs. I just wanted to try to see if Harrison would eat these. Hayden really loves the irregular corn dogs, so I wanted to see if Harrison would maybe eat some of the mini ones. Tricking him a little bit. He is such a finicky eater. <laughs> we needed some more placards to floss our teeth with, so I got those. And then I didn't have a lighter, so he borrowed my lighter. <laughs> One of our neighbors or whatever borrowed our lighter, and yeah. I have not been able to light candles, so I couldn't stand it. So I have to get another pack of lighters. And then, yeah, got voice and more Flintstone gummies here. Um, they didn't have the great value brand this week, so 
how to get this brand. And then we needed another trash can. Our trash can has had it. We pull it out a lot by this like lip. We kind of grab at it and all the whole, all four sides are gone on our trash can. So we needed another one of those. And then I want to show you guys really quick a couple of things that I got in the clothing department. All right. So as most everybody knows now, we are expecting a little baby. So mama's growing, growing out there. Um, having a hard time fitting in some clothes. So I, I found this shirt in black. Um, it's been a couple of months ago and I really like how it fits. It's kind of like a loose fit. It has like the um, little ah! side here that's kind of cut out. But I got, a, I think I got a large, I think it was a large. This is an extra large because Number one, I don't like for things to be skin tight on me, so I'm hoping that this is going to be, this is this will see me through the winter with baby. And then, I have on a pair of the Time and True maternity leggings, and you guys, they are so comfortable. So I went back today because I was like, they had a bunch of them whenever I bought the ones that I have on today. And I was like, I'm going to go get me like at least three more pair just to kind of get me through for right now. Well, guess what? They didn't have any more, <laughs> but they did have the gray pair. So it's got the, the band because I don't like for things to go underneath my belly. I just, that's not comfortable for me. So, um, this one has the one that goes like up over the belly and these are a lot, these are a size large and they go all the way to the ankle. Of course I'm short, so they're perfect length, but these were... $7.94 and I think you can get two pair for like I want to say it's like $16 online but then you know you have to buy $35 Mommy. to have them shipped for free so you know yeah, yeah. if you're buying stuff online already not yeah, a bad deal yeah. the shirt was only $7 and it had been like $12 when I bought my black one back a couple months ago so they were on sale on clearance today so anyway all right, my friends, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up down below if you enjoyed today's video, and we will see you all next time. Bye, guys.